हेलो नमस्ते सत्याकाल एंड आदाम आई एम ह्योर टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ अस इन इंडिया मस्ट पे अटेंशन टू प्लीज वेक अप एंड पे अटेंशन टू वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन अराउंड अस एवरी सिंगल डे दर इज न्यूज ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज बींग अटैक्ट बाय हिंदुत्व गुन्स आई एम नॉट गोट कॉल दैम हिंदू बिकॉज हिंदुइजम डज नॉट स्टैंड फॉर दिस हिंदुइजम इज अ टॉलरेंट फेथ आई हैव फ्रेंड्स फैमिली फैमिली फ्रेंड्स कॉलीग्स who are amazing human being they follow hinduism and they will not stand for what the hindutva group does so whether you agree or not it's not hard to say that what is happening right now is against what the constitution of india stands for and the secular fabric of this country is at stake mahua moitra in the parliament session last year said that India is in a state of undeclared emergency and she was right about it. While Muslims, Sikhs and Christians are being attacked in India, observe one thing that there is a very typical pattern of um civilians being turned against other civilians of a particular religion and um people begin to see the targeted religion as a threat. so there is an othering that happens and finally when the state calls on a genocide it is justified and the other civilians support the state and think that they should be grateful to the state for saving them the 10 stages of genocide were given by dr gregory stanton who has been the president of genocide watch so let's see what the 10 stages of genocide are the first is classification so here the differences between people are not respected the second is symbolization this is a visual manifestation of hatred for example the jews in nazi occupied europe were forced to wear the yellow star of david third discrimination the dominant group denies civil rights or even citizenship to identified groups the fourth stage is dehumanization those perceived as different are treated with no form of human rights or personal dignity stage 5 is organization genocides are always planned regimes of hatred often train those who go on to carry out the destruction of people we may relate this to the hindutva goons going armed and attacking minorities stage 6 is polarization propaganda begins to be spread by hate groups we can very well relate this with the news channels that spread hatred against target communities for example farmers were called terrorists during the first covid crisis a group of muslims that gathered were defamed as the tablighi jamaat uh, who were doing a jihad to spread covid even now the anti national or even pakistani card is played against muslims and sikhs stage 7 is preparation perpetrators plan the genocide they often use euphemisms such as the nazis phrase the final solution to cloak their intentions we may relate this with the state sponsored genocide of protesters during the farmers protests and also during the nrcc aa protests so the state would justify it as counter terrorism and um, also in a way that they are saving the other civilians from a threat or from anti national stage 8 is persecution victims are identified because of their ethnicity or religion and death lists are drawn up people are sometimes segregated into ghettos deported or starved and properties often expropriated the genocidal massacres begin stage 9 is extermination the hate group murders their identified victims in a deliberate and systematic campaign of violence millions of lives have been destroyed or changed beyond recognition through genocide stage 10 is denial the perpetrators or later generations deny the existence of any crime evidence is destroyed and witnesses are intimidated there has been an increase in holocaust denial online in recent years we may typically relate this with the godra genocide of 2002 the anti sikh genocide of 1984 there's a note from the page i would like to read 
genocide never just happens there is always a set of circumstances which occur or which are created to build a climate in which genocide can take place these stages may occur simultaneously or in a different order i've been reading this book a hindu rashtra by akar patel and on page 6 of his book he writes at the level of practice hindutva has come to be associated with the three primary political demands of the bjp firstly muslims must surrender their mosque in ayodhya secondly muslims must surrender their personal law and assent to a uniform civil code thirdly muslims must surrender their constitutional autonomy in kashmir article 370 on taking part other issues have been added to these that muslims give up their diet ban on cattle slaughter that is beef ban that muslims must prove their identity in assam or be disenfranchised national register of citizens and so on i was brought up in an islam country oman and our king his majesty sultan kapus bin said was so tolerant so amazing so loving compassionate we freely practiced our faith without any fear we had gurdwaras we had hindu temples we had churches um religious sites of all faiths and um i just want you to know that islam is not scary islam is a beautiful faith and those who practice islam are not here to um destroy anyone or anything so please be wary of our thought patterns that are being conditioned by the state that is to hate that is to develop um hatred towards muslims so even if you are not politically active i feel you should be aware of the signs of genocide because it is all planned and um be aware of it so that you do not give in to this conditioning of the state the conditioning is to hate minorities right now to hate muslims then sikhs then christians then jews parsis bahais jains keep the conversation going because it may just be too late and we may regret for not speaking up